Good evening, everyone, and welcome in. It is Wednesday night, it is 8 o'clock, and it is time for another episode of Barbershop Royale. Oh, yeah. yeah. Guys, we, we made it all the way to episode 5, and the network didn't cancel us yet. I know, still. Yeah. And yeah. actually, that's that's a big thing. Wasn't there a rumor that Facebook was going to cancel oh, all Facebook live events? Yeah. Oh, we made that's it. Right. We made the cut. <laughs> we didn't violate copyright. We apparently uh, are not um, a music listening experience. Whatever that the means. Egg and spoon, the egg and spoon race saved us. <laughs> apparently. Uh, Kevin Drahun saved us, Todd. That's what <laughs> right, yeah. Some so, things about what we do are an experience, but the egg and spoon race was not music or listening. Sure, that's right. That's right. I found music. I don't, know. I don't know about you. There I mean, was a whole bunch of Mario Kart music in there. The pitter patter of feet. Like Good you can point. hear the feet in that. Come on. Good point. Good point. So it's been a little while since I talked to you guys. Real quick, how how are we doing? What's going on, Todd? Oh, everything's awesome. <laughs> really? Can you tell the no. truth now, please? <laughs> By comparative standards to everything else in 2020, yeah, man, it's great. <laughs> Fair no, enough. How about you, dude? We're we're healthy. Yeah, similar. I'm healthy. I'm doing okay. Um, just I I'm not as afraid to talk about the school year anymore because things have settled. There you go. So, yeah, it could it could be worse, and I'm happy that I get to do what I get to do. Sam. Sure. I severely miss singing Barbershop live. Yep. I don't know yes. if anybody else in the entire world. Absolutely. But, how about um, how about a big old yes in the chat if you miss singing Barbershop this live? This is very. Like, this is getting me a little bit of the the little vibes of it, but I'm really missing actually singing live. And yeah. that is the exciting bit about my life as a public school teacher is that on Tuesday, I finally get to start singing live. Really? They're going to actually let you start singing now? We we okay. have to be six feet apart side to side and nine to 12 feet in between <laughs> front to back. But within those confines, yep. I can find music. <laughs> Whereas between uh, the beginning of school and now I've found awkward silence doing general music lessons. Oh, indeed. Hey, for, for what it's worth, we, uh, we, I'm not even doing that. So we're, we're, I mean, It'll the way our schedule through. works, we're pretty much all, uh, all remote and actually there is a rumor that uh I, I don't know the the superintendent is supposed to make some big announcement on uh on monday and the speculation is that it's going to be that hartford is going back to all remote so i might be remote teaching oh. again i don't know I maybe that. it'll just be that they're just like giving everybody a, a free can of soda or something like that <laughs> <laughs> like here's a can of soda go home and learn I didn't think they could work to give soda in school anymore. Too much, too much uh, corn syrup, seem, right? Seems yeah. seems unlikely. They didn't even manage to distribute basic PPE, so we'll, we'll see how oh, that you'll, goes. You'll actually be better with full online than the hybrid weirdness, because at least full online, you know what to expect. Yeah, right. Well, exactly. The hybrid, you don't know what's going to happen every day of your life. Well, apparently, yep. it drove me so. Well, cool. Oh, go ahead, Steve. I was just that. saying, We're apparently, it guys, drove me so crazy that I started singing about squirrels. I don't know if you guys all saw that on Facebook. <laughs> I did, yes. Uh, you, uh, you, I did. you truly have gone nuts. Really, you drove, you drove <gasps> and, it, and it drove me right up a tree. Hey, so <laughs> yeah. So, listen, one thing we do know for sure, guys, is that these competitors for Barbershop Royale, all of them, wow. including the ones that unfortunately had to be eliminated have been providing absolutely grade A entertainment for the entire season. Absolutely. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, go, episodes, go to our YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash C slash Destination Quartet, uh, or just search the Destination Quartet channel and you'll find all the previous episodes. But in the meantime, right. tonight's episode does not disappoint. The competitors came through absolutely incredibly, and I cannot wait to put this out on the airwaves. I am so impressed with every single one of them oh Me yeah too i am excited in fact i think you guys i i had to watch them all so i could edit the episode together but you guys haven't seen anything but little tiny clips of them i yet, have right? seen little teasers something. yeah and i've intentionally made myself very unaware so that all Thank the reactions you. that the audience is used to seeing are going to be completely <laughs> genuine yet again because i have no idea what's going on that's fantastic well we got to catch up so todd you want to catch us up on what happened last episode 
I would love to. So on the last episode, we had an absolutely incredible scavenger hunt. To be totally honest with you, to the audience here, we were rolling the dice on this one. It was our first yep. ever yeah. like live. Uh, I mean, we're we're live all the time, but the content provided by the quartets, the scavenger hunt itself was absolutely happening live, and they were tweeting their findings, the things that they discovered. They were handed at 8 o'clock Eastern time, they were handed a list of 200 items with different point values for the difficulty level and ran across their communities safely and uh, safely distanced and uh, gathering up evidence, photo, video, and so forth, and tweeting this where our helpers behind the scenes, Xander, Linda, and Victoria, were uh, gathering the information, keeping the tally going for us, and, and uh, really doing a, an incredible job. The hashtag for that, if you want to go find those, was uh, uh, BR The Great Hunt. So if you want to find that hashtag to look at that stuff, we're toying with the idea that maybe we'll edit all of the video together at some point uh, if one of us has time. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, we're trying. It's in our mind to do it. But uh, but what ended up happening in that thing was just a ton of fun. You will see uh, people singing um, famous songs from famous musicals in front of movie theaters. You will see uh, people gathering bizarre items, old things from the 80s, VHS tapes. A lot of uh, Walmart. A whole bunch of weird stuff happening at Walmart. Yes. <laughs> it was like uh, the strangest montage of TikTok videos ever. Uh, Thank really you, Xander, for that hashtag. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Good job, Xander. Uh, so uh, what ended up happening with that was one quartet won immunity from earning the most points for that. And that quartet, as we announced uh, a week ago, was full of it. So this week they are safe from uh, whatever risks they managed to take with their parody. Uh, they, 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 are, they are immune from, from being voted out this week. Unfortunately, we did have to say goodbye to uh, TaylorMade. They were they were the, the lowest scoring quartet. But I want to make sure that we give credit to Steve of TaylorMade, because as oh he mentioned God, on, yeah. on the episode, uh, like the Avenger that he was representing on his shirt, he did a heroic effort of, of, of a solo uh, project of gathering these things uh, and, and still did an incredible job representing the quartet. Uh, really actually kind of kept it pretty close a, a little bit with some of the other groups. Uh, but uh, but unfortunately, they were the, the low-scoring quartet. We had to say goodbye to TaylorMade. So let us actually, say Todd, goodbye. If you, the, if you do that math, he actually overachieved for one quarter of our quartet. Absolutely. Did. Absolutely. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Did any yes. of you as one person of a quartet. Yes. yes. So let us uh, say goodbye to TaylorMade. How do you feel about getting voted off? Well, you know, it's it's not about that. We're just so honored to be even included in this fabulous contest. At least, I think it's a contest. I was entering it like it was a contest, but... Uh, I, I didn't really care to begin with, I think. Um, I think it's rigged, honestly. I think the whole thing is a scam. Uh, um, I don't remember voting. What, was there voting? Why do you think you lost? I think it was Steve. I think those notes that he sang wrong in the third song that were just, I think that's what did it to, uh, for, uh, against, uh, about us. I don't, is it something that I did? Is, is there something I can do to fix this? I, uh, I hope I didn't let the guys down. Well, uh, uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was uh, something with the, with the government up with this because, I mean, these are good, honest people who are voting on this stuff, and, and I know a lot of them, and I, I know what they would vote, and uh, the results are not um, what they should have been. Uh, did I lose? Uh, what? I thought I won. Would you like to say anything to the other quartets? You know, I would. Um, uh, I would just say to the other quartets that uh, if you're thinking of making a change in personnel, there's going to be a base available soon for your quartet. And uh, I, I have the contact information. Hang in there. I, I wish you the best. But when this is over, there's going to be a hole that just, just can't be filled. To the other quartets. Let's just say 
that uh, <clears throat> you're dead to me. Uh, I, I, I didn't, uh, were, are there other quartets here? Uh, I, I didn't see any. What was your favorite memory? When we were singing along and all those chords that we were singing all lined up and, and became, it becomes like a magical feeling. And then Steve sang those wrong notes. It just, and then the magic went away. I'm sure there was something, but it, I don't remember when the last time I was happy. <laughs> nah, pass. Uh, that 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 has to be um, when I was five. My dad got me this really cool tricycle. It was red. It was, oh, and, I, and I and I didn't need training wheels. Oh, <laughs> Taylor made. Oh, that was the best. <laughs> I, I like Timing how, is everything. I like how they just kind of <laughs> hug Steve out to dry, not only in the challenge, uh, yeah, but in the video it. too. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's yeah. a dynamic that uh, that I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what, yeah. what fun guys. Fun, 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 fun guys. Love Taylor anyway, Made. Very, many thanks to you, Taylor Made. Thank you for uh, a lot of great videos and for being a part of the team and, and having fun with us along the way. It was really wonderful to have you here. It really was. So. What's next? Uh, moving on, Jude, what is next? Uh, what is next is the episode that we're about to embark upon together as a, as a unit. Um, but Steve, should I talk about the sponsorship? Yeah, you absolutely. Why you made me <laughs> That's why that I just threw it to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. The really radical thing is that somehow, yet again, Destination Quartet has been gifted this uh, like cool relationship with some outside business that, for unknown reasons, wants to partner with us to market. Um, so the cool company this time, friends, is called Bread and Spoon. Uh, Bread and Spoon is a bakery based out of New Jersey and New York City, um, which is where I am. So it's kind of cool that they're close by and uh, Colleen runs bread and spoon and she's awesome. And she contacted us and um, she's, she's a, a siren of Gotham. Um, she knows all the people there. And so we've bumped into each other a little bit, but bread and spoon is, is a really, really cool bakery. They're on Instagram and they're on Facebook and they have a website and uh, not only all of those things, and not only do they have great baked products, but they are providing a prize for the winner of tonight's episode. So whichever quartet ends up winning tonight, not the whole thing, winning tonight, will be receiving a prize package from Bread and Spoon. And it is not small. It's like dozens of, of baked goods have been promised to the winners. Uh, Colleen, I hope you're ready to ship a bunch of stuff. This is going to be <laughs> awesome. How hey, Jude, next time we rehearse at your place, we're going to go there. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's the deal. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I like that. So thank you, Bread and Spoon. And everybody go check them out. Yeah, but dude, uh, how yeah. do you win? Oh, how do you win tonight? Am I talking about that too? <laughs> no, Sam, no, you're talking about, about that. that. You know, I was prompting you to prompt me because I just wanted you to turn it over to me without me having to ask for it, but you didn't do that, so I had to take over myself. That's my you bad. have to win tonight, and not tonight, but over the next week or so, you have to go on to Destination Quartet forward slash vote to be able to cast your vote for tonight's winner. Just like in our previous episode, we are really holding you to making sure that you vote for one first place and then one second place and one third place. You don't have multiple votes going for the same quartet and only one entry allowed per person. So you can't just go online with some kind of uh, spam bot and vote for destination 15 times. Number one, we're not on the ballot. I don't know how you wrote us in, but <laughs> if you did, then you really, really can't do that. We made it so that you had to vote for one quartet for first place, one for second, one for third. The first place quartet will receive immunity for the next the next challenge, and the the last place quartet will unfortunately be eliminated. So I turn it back over to Steve. Indeed, we have uh, done enough jibber jabbering at the beginning of this episode. It is time for some singing. So the challenge this week was. 
parodies. The quartets had to come up with parody videos, but there were some uh, restrictions, and you, the audience, are going to get to watch for those restrictions. And in fact, you might want to factor how well they follow them into your voting. So we gave them two things. Number one was an object. They had to include a spatula somewhere in their video. Why a spatula? Because spatulas are the greatest thing ever. If you're they unaware so of this, bad. they are the best kitchen tool, bar none. Some people think spoon, like serving spoons are great, but they're all wrong. It's not serving spoons. It is spatulas. Spatulas are where it's at. Spoons are I just curvy spatulas. Fight I mean. anyone who says otherwise. So I need to talk about this for a second. Rachel and I just ordered a set of spatulas, and two Come of in. them are spoonulas. Okay, that's not a thing. We want to hear a quartet. <laughs> <laughs> So, number one, they had to include a spatula in their video. Number two, they had to include a word. The word was oof. oof. O-O-F, <laughs> oof. So, we are going to see how these quartets manage to include their those things in their videos, and we are going to start. Uh, our very first quartet is our quartet that has immunity for this week. We are going to start with Full of It. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Full of It with their parody video of the week. All right, guys, we're definitely running out of time here. Does anybody have an idea for this parody? Ooh. Okay, so hear me out. We are fish, but we're in space. And I'm free, free, free spawning. Oh, yeah, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. You, like, How about believe? something about squirrels? Oh, that's not. <gasps> there we go. Come on, there I we go. I know you can hear me. What about another western? What? No, Come on. Western. Yeah. Western. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. Guys, what is that? Well, it's a marvelous night for some witchcraft. Get our brooms ready, we're gonna fly. A fantabulous night for us to cast. Magic spells in an October sky. And all the leaves on the trees are falling. Hear the sound of the spirits below. It is time now to answer the calling. Now our magic Magic ones begin to glow, and all the sounds that surround you more from laughter to fright. And as the chill settles in, you see your nightmares come to life. Can't I just have one more spell cast on you, my love? Can't I, Can I just I make some, some more time hexing you, my love? We have spells to make you forget mothers, and a hex that will make you hate bread. And a fun one would make you take lovers that on your sweet season could be undead. It's always marvelous making some mischief, hearing you oof squeal and shriek such a treat. You think you'll flee to your dreams, but we'll come with. There's no escaping when we steal your feet. And while your smells are inverted, we will watch it in delight. For there's nothing like magic on a Christmas night. Can't I just have one more spell cast on you, my love? Can't I just make some more?
must have one more spell cast on you. My love. I went to Yukon. Wow. What? I, 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 here's, so here's what gets me full of it is that you guys, you were immune. You didn't have to do anything and you made something that incredible. Yeah. No, but anybody not... who watches, anybody who watches reality shows knows when you have immunity, you go big, you go bigger, you take the biggest risks possible. And man, they did not disappoint. I, I you mean, want next week, you don't just want immunity this past week. You want point. next week too. Yeah. They can still, yeah, I mean, just because they're immune they from elimination it. doesn't mean they don't still want to win this week. I mean, they want that that bread and spoon Probably. package, surprise package, Definitely. right? I don't so want the, that. Jeez. The home chorus that we all belong to for the audience did a, a show a few years back with some some granting and a partnership with the Yukon Puppet Arts Program, oh. who are who are an amazing puppetry program. And uh, the, the depth of work that we did with them gave me enough understanding to know that what they did, uh, I mean, somebody in that quartet has some puppetry passion, if not uh, experience and background. That was amazing. Amazing. Way to go, full of it. Yeah, way to go. My God. Hey, we should Jude, also you say, have something for us. Yeah. So, so uh, an important part of this competition is that throughout the entire, throughout all these episodes, these quartets are raising money. Um, and they're raising money for specific funds. Um, and so each quartet has a charity, which they are fundraising for. And Full of It's charity, which we will mention now, Full of It is raising money for One Tree Planted, OneTreePlanted.org. And uh, One Tree Planted's mission is that as an environmental charity, they're dedicated to making it easier for individuals and businesses to give back to the environment, to create a healthier climate, protect biodiversity, and help reforestation efforts around the world, all by planting trees. So thank you, Once Tree Planted, and thank you, Full of It, for fundraising for them. Nice. Well, we, just during that video, just now, while it was playing, just now. Just we hit a bit of a milestone as a quartet. Sure did. We just got our 1,000th th follower on Facebook. Yeah! Oh, turned purple. Thank you. What was, what was the name of our 1,000th of Our 1,000th uh, thousand, thousand follower is, is John Saylor. Thank you. Or John Saylor. Hey, thanks, John. So thank you, John. Uh, there were also a couple people after that. So I, I'm pretty sure it was John, but it could have been somebody else. But so do we, do, we think, do we thank John specifically, or do we thank the 999 followers before John? <laughs> just, just I think, <laughs> I think we, we, we thank Sam's weird pixelated out camera. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to erase it all with my face. If you saw me, like I got most of it, but I'm missing this little <laughs> <laughs> Well, in, in uh, celebration of our thousandth follower, I decided that while we are watching these quartets include spatulas in their videos, I'm going to take you all on a tour of my favorite spatulas. Imagine. Because, like I said, spatulas are the greatest kitchen implement of all time. So, first, I would like you to introduce you to the egg spatula. This one nice. is just the right thickness and uh, uh, surface, uh, like, slipperiness to uh, flip over over easy eggs, which is my wife's favorite kind of eggs. I got this spatula for, like, 30 cents at a yard sale 20 years ago, and it is the greatest spatula I've ever had for flipping eggs. You, will, you will meet more spatulas sure. later, but now it yeah. is time for another quartet. So and that quartet is... Our next parody is brought to you by Ripple Effect from Ontario, Canada. Welcome, Ripple Effect. If we both go out to die Crave a hearty turkey pie. If you drool for juicy chicken thigh. If you love meat, really love meat, you're the answer. I'm a 
couldn't be romance, but if you love me, really love me, then you've got it, darling. We're a pair, we're a pair. In French, nous aimons le bœuf et j'adore le steak aux Oh, ripple baby. effect <laughs> Un unbelievable that that i mean we don't know it's only the second group of the night but that has to be among the most creative uses of of if that there will be <laughs> oh. i i like meat that uh, what was it food that used to have a face i think that a was face yes. yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> yeah speaking, oh. of, speaking of food that used to have a face i need to introduce oh, no. you to my grill spatula Oh my goodness! Steve. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. I was so bad afraid boy. of where that segue was going. <laughs> it is nice stainless steel. It's got the holes so that it doesn't collect the grease. It is exactly the right size for a burger patty, and I have had it for ten years, and it is my very favorite grill spatula. People keep trying to buy me grill spatulas because they know I like spatulas, but this is Steve. the best grill spatula. Steve, we want to talk about our spatulas. Well, I'm That's good then. Too, you better Steve. butt in and talk about it because I'm real excited about mine. This is a this is a I'm not from, sure right. how much interest this is going to keep for everybody guys. <laughs> all right. Well, back in 2013 everybody loves spatulas. I was on a trip to Okay, all right, fine. <laughs> hey, yeah, oh, Sam, we that's, should a, say... that's a good use of a spatula. I, By I, the way, I I am every once in a while. I mean, it's mm. great. I can still see you. <laughs> so my eye hasn't fallen out yet. It's good. <laughs> hey, uh, did so, you guys you... know that 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 ripple effect is is also raising money for a charity that we should talk about. I did know. Yeah, tell us about it. 
Which one? Um, so Ripple Effects Charity is called Sing Canada Harmony. And Sing Canada Harmony is a Canadian charity dedicated to empowering all Canadians to become healthy, creative, and responsible members of society by providing access to vocal music education programs and resources. I can stand by that. That's awesome. Thank you, Ripple Effects. And drop the link in the chat if you have it. <laughs> oh, are we moving right on, I think? Yeah. I, I think yeah, we're I moving think right on. I think we should. Yeah. yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I frankly can't. I certainly would would rather hear them sing about spatulas than watch you guys, you know, show your spatulas. So, hmm. yeah, here we go. Competitor number three tonight in random order. The next competitor is Trademark. While the world is upside down, wash your hands. We'll show you how down it kills James a plant down 99% till take it from me, let the sun set you free. Just use dial about 30 seconds, dial, sanitation back and just, just try it once and you will see so clean. and say that I believe Keith Parker's mom in, in the chat said, did they just say pooping? And <laughs> Keith Parker immediately said, yes, mom. Yes, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Okay. I, I, <laughs> that was fun. I committed I to that it, one. man. It really committed to it. <laughs> Not only that, yeah. but right. a useful PSA on hand washing during Wash a pandemic. Your don't touch your face like we've been doing constantly the entire time. And a, and a really great uh, example of the impact of an overhead angle for training videos. I mean, that was, oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. yeah well Definitely. done. Although I will give them the incorrect use of a spatula. You're not supposed to use it to turn off a faucet. Although... I disagree. You You Ooh. can't. Wait, wait, wait. Steve, what? you're a hypocrite. You just said that the spatula is the greatest tool. It is. Talking about how many different uses spatulas have. It is. Who's to say that there isn't a spatula for turning off a faucet? I mean, that looked like a, a, a egg spatula to me. I mean, look, a miter saw is a great tool either, but you're not going to use it to rip a two by four. You got to have the right tool for the job. I could. <laughs> I mean, if it's a great tool, it will do it. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> oh. this is my ground beef spatula. I use this to chop up the ground beef because 
these wide holes, again, allow the grease to slide through, and it is stiff enough that it can cut through it without flexing. Sam, what is that face that you're making? <laughs> I'm looking at his spatula and wondering why he's talking about ground beef with it. Like, that's the, or ground turkey. That also works. That's that's the same face you give us when we go a little bit flat, Sam. It's the same, the same look. <laughs> you, ever since you found out a perfect pitch, I have not made faces anymore because you all look at me the whole time. <laughs> Okay. Is, is well, it, oh, but wait, hold on, hold on. We got to say what the charity is. I was just going to throw that to you to do that. Oh, good. Okay, good. Well, I'll do that. So, Trademark has a charity as well. The charity that they are fundraising for is the Parkinson's Foundation. The Parkinson's Foundation makes life better for people with Parkinson's disease by improving care and advancing research toward a cure. Parkinson's disease affects about 1 million people in the United States and 10 million people worldwide. In everything they do, they build on the energy, experience, and passion of the global Parkinson's community. Thank you, Trademark, for fundraising for them. Excellent. Thank you very much. Indeed. Now. Can we talk about voting again? Yeah. Sam, why don't you uh, remind us about our uh, our voting? As a reminder, between now and next week, you can go on to destinationquartet.com slash forward slash vote, and it's going to allow you the opportunity to vote for your oh, first no. quartet. Go I ahead. am picking it again, and you cannot come at me about that plug-in thing. Right now, I'm running a cord from my desktop all the way to my Mind you, audience, it's going across two staircases that if I were to forget that I plugged myself in for this, I would fall down to my death, and no one would know. Because my cat will scare me. Okay. Anyways. So, whoa, that was like the worst I thought it was. I just saw it on the stream. Whatever. The voting. The voting. The voting. <laughs> if you are, would feel so inclined to vote for one of these amazing parodies, please go to Destination Quartet forward slash vote. Why, Mr. Com. It's there. It's on the screen. Look what right is there. <laughs> and from there, you'll be able to vote for your first place quartet, your second place quartet, and your third place quartet. The top winning quartet for the week receives immunity on next week's challenge. And the last place quartet is unfortunately eliminated for next week. But Back they, have, they shouldn't have done that yet because they should watch all no, the quartets. No, you have to see all the quartets perform. Okay. Well, speaking of which, it's our time for our next quartet. And uh, I was instructed that... I need to be the one to introduce this one. Um, I have a feeling I know why, although mm -hmm. the rest of you, you haven't seen that. I they, I, I was told actually to video myself uh, reacting to this, but what well, before I edit, you know, did any editing, which I did. Maybe we'll put that up on Facebook or something at some point. But without any further ado, our next parody video of the evening is from none other than Daily Special. <laughs> You've got a friend in Steve, in Steve, such a good friend in Steve. And when you're cool, when your quartet's not ahead, and you thought that you'd win, but you've been misled. Just you just even. remember what the money said. Now we've got a friend in Steve. I'm saying we've got a friend in Steve. We've got a friend in Steve. We've got trouble. You've seen them too. Who ever thought we'd have to race with egg and spoon or spork? Then we brightened and we made it through. Now we've got a friend in Steve. Some of the folks might be a little bit smarter than he is. Bigger and stronger too. But do really do maybe do none of them ever end it the way he do. With auto tune and boy, and as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're gonna see there's no one like he is. Oof. And you. Thanks, guys.
guys. <laughs> By the way, Can that I, was what? miraculously close to being parallel with my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh. That's just all that Steve is like my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, uh, part of the fun of <laughs> Sam <laughs> daily special, you I think you killed Sam. <laughs> you broke him. <laughs> so in the middle of the video, in the middle of the video, Todd goes, "Wait, you guys didn't watch this one ahead of time?" And Sam no! and I go, no. <laughs> no. So part of that was that. Almost none of the video and pictures that they just used in that were ever posted anywhere publicly. Um, apparently, I, I I still don't know for sure how they got them. I, I mean, one of them was taken on a pic. They must have talked to my wife, I suppose, because one of those was on a trip that we took with the one with me riding a giraffe in Walmart. Like, I, I don't know. Anyway, speaking of which, <laughs> it's time for the next spatula. This is the crepe spatula. It is very flexible, it, so it will fit under the crepe without ripping it. I use this to make my wife amazing crepes on Mother's Day, which I can post a picture of that at some point on Facebook as well. I th if you go look at her Facebook, she has definitely posted them multiple times. If you are going to make crepes, you need a crepe spatula. Anyway, you. you guys don't even care about my spatulas anymore, but I do because spatulas are awesome. I was done with that like four quartets ago. <laughs> Too bad. Well, you you have heard and seen enough from me. I'm going to shut up and think about what just happened in that song. And I'm going to talk about the thing that we should talk about, which is that Daily Special did a fantastic job and that they are fundraising for A Call to Men. A Call to Men is a violence prevention organization and is a respectful leader on issues of manhood, male socialization, and its intersection with violence and preventing violence against all women and girls. Nice charity daily special. Thank you very much. And uh, while we're talking about these charities, one of the future episodes of Barbershop Royale is all about these charities and who fundraise the most. And, you know, um, so it matters, right? It matters. So if, you, if you're hearing one of these charities that really sticks out to you that you care about, you know, click on the links that are going into the chat and get. <laughs> and... Move, I feel like moving on to... with, I feel like every time I finish a sentence and I'm like ready to be done with it, there's that pause. Did you, you feel that pause? You feel that and pause? we take over for it. It's fine. So, yep. so say, now to you, Todd. Competitor number five tonight <laughs> is all the way from Germany, Karma. Hello, friends from all over the world. We're just coming together for a brief second to raise a glass and uh, wish everybody well. We're thinking about you during this time and hope we're together again real soon uh, to sing together. That's right. If we can't get together, let's drink. Cheers. There's no way you can be that isn't where you're meant to be. 
Yeah. Man. <laughs> so many special contributors on that one too. Oh no, no, my no. goodness. Yeah. You know, right, Holy right cameos, there. Batman. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Well I done, like it. Karma. Well done. Hey, I'm uh, starting to sense a starting to sense a theme with Karma. I mean, just now I'm just picking up on just, <laughs> just, well, you, you uh, it folks as a motivator in a spoon race. Yeah. For those who didn't see episode two, go back and watch a man it, chasing it, a beer. It, if America runs on Duncan, then Germany clearly runs on Pilsner. Hey. hey. <laughs> nice. Hey, uh, did you guys? By the way, Dunkin' Donuts, Donuts is welcome to sponsor our next episode. Just saying. By all means, Dunkin' Donuts. Anybody <laughs> rep out there? No. <laughs> Go ahead, Jude. Sorry. Um, th- no, it's fine. I was just going to say that Karma has a charity, which is uh, for Charge Syndrome EV. Uh, Karma's charity is the Charge Association, and they support research on Charge Syndrome. Charge Syndrome is a rare defect that can affect different parts of the body, such as eyes, heart, growth, and development, and is now considered to be a major cause of congenital hearing impairment. Uh, this pattern of malformities varies by person, um, but it can be life-threatening in infancy, and I think this is a really good charity that Karma is fundraising for. So thank you all for listening to that, and thank you, Karma, for fundraising for that. Um, <laughs> while we're going on, uh, we have this cool event that's coming up on Sunday that I wanted to talk about. So I noticed this this came up in my Facebook feed, but um, the Barbershop Harmony Society is doing an inclusion in barbershop series, so they have multiple talks and workshops. Um that are happening for, uh, throughout the next month or so, I believe. Um, and uh, one of them is this Sunday, the 11th. And um, they've got a great panel, great, obviously a great topic, inclusion in barbershop. Um, and, and this one focuses on gender identity and um, welcoming members of, of all, all types and all walks, um, especially LGBTQ members. Um, and we did want to give a shout out to it because one of the members of the next quartet is one of the panelists on it. So the panelists are uh, Steve Scott, Nia Baz, who is in Hot Second, uh, Alex Morris, and Mo Field, and Mo Field has been on one of our shows before. So, hey, Mo. We, yeah, so we feel we feel like that's going to be a pretty cool talk, obviously, because it has some cool people in it. Um, so go check that out. I'll put the link for it in the chat. And um, yeah, we should talk about our next quartet, huh? Uh, without anything further, we're going to welcome all of our guys, gals, and non-binary pals in the audience to please put their hands together for Hot Second for their parody. Night is new, my dear sweetheart, and you and I are hungry. But no pale moonlight can quell my quite insatiable appetite. Some days my blood sugar's low and the stove is cold, but I feel a glow just. 
just thinking of food and the way you cook tonight. The way you cook tonight. Oh, but I'm hungry for your soup so warm. Your bun so soft There is nothing for me But to shove food In my face Please cook Let's take a bite Sushi, shrimp, charcuterie board Anything a la carte Take me to the hospital ward Soothing my burning heart I'm still hungry Never get enough Bring me boneless wings Turkey filled with stuffing Just the way you cook tonight, you bake all right. Just the way you cook tonight. No, I love I love the, the fridge theme. This is great. The fridge theme. Oh. Yeah. Steve. 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 Oh, Steve. 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 I could Steve. kill an elk with this spatula. Should you? Why? I don't know, but I could. And then I could cook the steaks with it because it's big enough to flip <laughs> an elk thigh. <laughs> what? I'm just excited about my spatulas. Leave, just let me live my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not judging. I mean, I am, but you know. <laughs> on the inside, though, Todd. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. you, you are. You actually are, though. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, that was the last spatula of the evening, and that was also our last quartet of the evening. It was so. We are going to remind you of that uh, voting uh, link one more time. Here it is. There it is. Destination Quartet. com yeah. slash vote. What Come on. Said. Let me do my thing. <laughs> oh, and, and also, um, we should also mention that Hot Second is fundraising for the Alley Forney Center, which has a mission to protect LGBTQ youth uh, from the harms of homelessness and empower them with the tools needed to live independently. I love all these charities. Like I know they pick good ones. We, t- we told them we told them to pick charities, and then they picked really good charities. Like the, the things that matter. It's just it's just cool. To me. It's really heartening. It really is. Agreed. Yeah. So, vote. Indeed, the voting will be open for a week. Um, uh, again, one vote per person, and uh, make sure you well that you the form actually forces you to only vote for one quartet at a time, like for each spot. So, uh, do what the form lets you do. And, and we will be you good. just saw the amazing quality of what we just witnessed. The parodies were at a new level for uh, Barbershop Royale. Please encourage your friends to check this video out so they can really see these videos that they may not have known needed to be a part of their life. But when they see it, they will never regret having seen the amazingness of what we witnessed tonight. So please oh, yeah. 
reach out to friends, send them the YouTube link, whatever you need to do, send them the Facebook link, have them go to our site. Just really make sure people see this because that was some comedy gold tonight. Absolutely. And the great barbershop too. Hey, uh, Jude, you want to you wanna mention that sponsor one more time? We really should. Hey, uh, Bread and Spoon is sponsoring this episode. Bread and Spoon is a bakery in New Jersey and New York City area, and they are uh, providing a quite large prize package to whatever the winner of this episode may be, unknown at this time. So vote, because that will determine who gets the baked goodies. Mm-hmm. And go visit their website, breadandspoon.com, and go order some good baked goodies. <laughs> Thanks, and Brennan Spoon. I think that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, make sure to tune back in two weeks from tonight. That'll be October 21st at 8 p.m. for episode six of Barbershop oh. Royale. The episode is entitled Know Thyself, and it may oh, have something to do with quartets hmm. and their knowledge. I suppose we will find out what that is in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, make sure to uh, like and follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Ring the bell. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Click the like all of that social and media go like stuff. all the go stuff. like all the quartets too and all the yes. quartets. go find these quartets on facebook and like them and follow their stuff they are all doing lots of things beyond just barbershop royale and it's all awesome and you should totally check it out and go follow them this has Including been the, the quartets who are no longer even on here like yeah. i love the quartets that we have unfortunately been eliminated so far so please make sure you go and support them they were amazing competitors for their time in here Absolutely. So uh, we will see you all again in a couple of weeks. We are Destination Quartet. This has been Barbershop Royale. And uh, go wash your hands with Dial. That was in in (laughs) sync right there, Jude. There we go. (laughs) See you guys later. Bye. Dude. Dude. (laughs) I took it. Dude.